As most Kenyans enjoy a typical afternoon at Uhuru Park's Freedom Corner, a hole is dug at the point where a commemorative tree will be planted Saturday and a family meets to farm up funeral preparations just a few meters away. Children of Nobel laureate, the late Professor Wangari Madai, in deliberations with government officials as they prepare for a state funeral for a woman whose death has been felt not only regionally but also internationally. The family remains mum over burial preparations as curiosity builds over the stature her funeral is being accorded. The late Professor Wangari Madai going down history as the first woman in Kenya to be accorded a state funeral and the third Kenyan. After former Vice President, the late Kijana Wamalwa, back in September 2003, Kenya's first president. The late Mze Jomo Kenyatta back in August 1978. Ordinarily, a state funeral should see the government take over burial plans, but the inclusion of family wishes this time around, some of the rules that have been bent, as explained by Internal Security Permanent Secretary and Head of Government Delegation in the Funeral Committee, Francis Kimemia. We don't want to take over the, the entire function the way you normally do in a state, in a state funeral, which is normally sad for for say hands of state, or for my hands of state. So, but we have uh, very, very statutory arrangements and official uh, etiquettes and protocols that will be built into, into the whole event. The family is expected to, alongside government officials, give a comprehensive brief on the program Friday. They, however, maintain that Saturday's function will largely be a private affair. Kenyans only allowed to follow the procession from Lee Funeral Home to Uhuru Park for the tree planting ceremony and then to the Carrier Corps crematorium where only the family will be allowed into the crematorium. We expect the people of Nairobi and Kenya to, to line up on the streets to, to wave her goodbye as she is taken to her final destination in Karyoko. The Nobel laureate will also not receive a state gun salute as is the norm. We may not be able to do the gun salute because she will be committed. Ordinarily you'd, you'd do the gun salute when the body is being lowered into the grave and in this time, this time we don't have a grave. High-ranking dignitaries, including those from other countries, will be expected on the 14th of October during a planned memorial requiem mass at the Holy Family Basilica and not on the 8th. We have, we have a guest list, uh, which, which we will we'll finalize by Friday. I'm sure we'll know by Friday uh, who is coming. I expect that most of the guests will possibly come on the 14th. That will be the, since I've said this will be a fairly private function, so most of the guests are set to come on 14th, not on but we still have fairly senior government representation at the Freedom Corner. Details of the funeral program will be provided this Friday. Even Mumboy, Citizen Live at 9.